Hi everyone, Gem here. Thanks for watching today. So can anyone guess what we're going to be making? Does the colour scheme give it away? We've got blue, red and white. Any guesses? Um, if you guess the coronation, then you're correct. So I'm going to be making some party favours, decorations for the upcoming coronation. And I'm going to be sharing four projects with you over the next week or so. So this video is based on a previous video that I've shared, the vase or the fan card style. So I'll link that up in the corner there if you want to see that. But I'm um, resizing it and I'm going to use it to wrap this mini bottle of red wine. So to make the fan section of the wrap, you need a piece of nine and a half by seven and a half and i've chose the blue card stock and along the nine and a half inch side you want to score at every half an inch so if you go ahead and do that and then set that to one side i've then got a piece of red card stock that measures seven and a half squared and we're going to do a little bit more work on that shortly to make the rosette I've got two pieces of white cardstock that measures 11 and a half by one and a half and along the 11 and a half inch side I've scored it every half an inch. So do that on both pieces and we'll assemble that together shortly. So you need to take a ruler and a pencil and on one of your sides you want to mark up four and a quarter inches. So just there. So hopefully you can see that okay. And then from that marker, I'm going to draw a line to the top left hand corner. So we've come up four and a quarter on the right hand side. And then from that marker point, I'm going to draw a straight line to the top left hand corner. So we've got this slight angle. So it's entirely up to you. You can use your trimmer. Uh, your guillotine, pair of scissors, ruler and a craft knife as long as you get the end result of cutting this piece away like so so you might want to remove any pencil marks that might be left behind and I'm going to run my red cardstock through this uh, made to surprise ditzy embossing folder I just wanted to give it a little bit of extra texture and interest if you've got a heavyweight card stock then i'd suggest spritzing it with some water because this does have a deep impression sometimes it can cause cracking so there's my card stock run through the die cutting machine i paid particular attention to the edge because that can cause cracking as i said so this is a bit fragile at the moment and damp so i am just going to set that to one side and work on the other pieces while that dries so I'm going to take my blue cardstock and I'm going to concertina fold along the score lines. So you can start in any direction if you want. I'm starting with a mountain and then valley, mountain, valley, etc. Just work your way along. So then you're left with a piece like this. So I'm just going to flip it over and this edge here, I'm going to run red tape all along the edge. And I'm also going to do the same for the opposite edge, ready to attach that to our bottle wrap. So this edge here will attach to the red cardstock. I've removed the red liner tape back in there. I've just put a pencil mark in the center of this panel and used my ruler just to start off the fold there. So using that marker as a guide, as your center point, you want to bring both sides up. So they meet in the middle. Like 
also so if you get any overhang here you can trim this down to neaten it up if you wish this hole here we'll be covering up so don't worry about that too much so that's ready to attach to the wrap next i'm going to work on the rosette so i concertina folded these pieces as i did before what i did was on one piece i started off with a mountain and on the other piece i started off with a valley so they will attach together like so so i'm just going to add some quick grab glue along this piece here and attach them together add a bit of pressure on that so it's got some time to grab and then you marry up the other side in the same way so quick grab glue along there pop that piece over the top so you then created this circle shape so I've got a half inch circle punch and I've punched two holes just to help with the assembly of the rosette I've had my hot glue gun heating on the side so this is your friend when making a rosette it just makes the assembly really easy so you want to sort of stand it on the side so it's like this and then you push the top down flat to create this circle shape so I'm going to pop some glue in the center there and this circle over the top to help hold that in place and then flip it over and add some glue in the center there to help it form its shape and pop the other circle on top there so i've gone a little bit overboard there with the glue i don't know if you can see <laughs> that's okay i'll wait for it to dry and then i'll be able to, to take, take that away so once you're happy with your rosette you want to put, add your topper so i've cut this circle in glue cardstock that matches the fan there and i've also printed the coronation logo and added that on the top there so that's going to sit over the top so i've added some foam to attach the layers together and then i'm also going to use the hot glue on this piece to give it more dimension and place that in the center there so now we've got all of our elements ready we're going to start to assemble so my red cardstock is now dry and I want to add some red liner tape to it so this is going to be wrapping around the bottle like so so I want some red liner tape on the edge here and red liner tape on the opposite edge there so I'm just going to place that down and I'll come back to you so I'm not going to go all the way to the top because this bit is going to be open so I'm going to do it about the, the four and a quarter marker so I'm just lining the bottom edge of the cardstock to, to the edge of the bottle remove my red liner tape on both sides there so you want to make sure it's nice and tight and then just roll the cardstock along like so and then that gives you this lovely bottle wrap next we're going to remove the red liner tape from our blue fan piece so i'm going to line the score line up to the edge of the red cardstock And then just place that down on there like so so you may have a little bit of overhang at the top i've just trimmed mine down 
and now we're going to fix the fan in place with some hot glue so I'm just gonna put a little bit there following the center of the fan and push that against the red cardstock like so so that's all held together like so and then lastly we're going to attach the rosette on the front so I'm just going to add some glue on either side of the rosette quite a generous amount so there's the final project I think it looks really cool I'm so pleased with how it's turned out so this will be great for any kind of party really weddings um, birthdays just a little gift to say thank you or you're thinking about someone you can adjust the sizing for smaller or larger bottles and as I said I've linked the video in the description box below um, if you want to make a standalone vase card so I'm calling this the fan bottle wrap so imagine um, a whole selection of different bottles all decorated like so this would be really fun on a party table so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have you might want to hit the like button leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye